This lesson is on division and covers CPM chapter 6, section 1.1. There are three terms throughout this lesson that you need to be familiar with. You have divisor, dividend, and quotient, and each of those are a different part of a division problem. When we look at these, we have our dividend, which is what is being divided. We have our divisor, which is what the, the dividend is being divided by. And we have our quotient, which is our answer to a division problem. And these are the two most common ways to set up the problem. So let's look at this problem. Caleb has seven brownies and wants to give them to three of his friends. If each friend receives an equal amount of the brownies, how much will he receive? I want you to try to solve this problem and draw a picture first and then see if that helps you solve it. When I drew my figure, this is what it looked like. I did seven brownies, and here I just represented them as white rectangles. And then I divided them into three parts each, one part for each friend, and each friend is a different color. From here, I'm able to count up the different pieces that each person will receive. And looking at that, each person is going to receive seven pieces. But is one piece the same as one brownie? No, because we're looking at this and we're saying it's seven of these smaller pieces that each person would receive. And we want to know how many pieces, um, how many whole brownies each person is going to receive. So we can divide that. And we would set it up as there are seven pieces and in one whole there are three pieces. So we can say seven divided by three. We could also look at it as there are seven brownies and three friends. Okay, we're looking at it the same way. And then from here, we're able to simplify. And remember that your fraction bar here means to divide. So seven divided by three, we know three goes into seven twice, and that gives us six, and then there is one third remaining. We could also set it up as a normal, as we would with a regular division problem, where we have seven divided by three, Okay, and then as we solve it, we have two pieces, which gives us our six, and there's a remainder of one, which we would write as one-third. So each person will receive two and one-third of a brownie. And you notice the brownies are rectangles. Does this, the shape really matter? No, not really. Um, you can use circles, but I found rectangles easier. Try another problem. Anna has five cookies to share with two friends. If they split the cookies equally, how much will each person receive? It's similar to the last problem, but it's a little bit different. Try it on your own first, but pay careful attention to the wording. So when we look at this, we want to see that we have five cookies. And I represented them a little bit differently here, so you can see another strategy. And remember, it says sharing. So that means it's not just Anna giving her friends cookies. It means she's sharing them with her friends. So there are three people getting the cookies. And you could split it up as Anna's receiving this cookie, one friend's receiving this cookie, and one friend's receiving this cookie. But there are two cookies left, and then you still need to look at it being split evenly. So the way I'm going to do that is split it into thirds, because I have three people. And we're going to look at that and say that those thirds that I drew are actually equal, even though they're not. Okay. And then Anna will get this piece and this piece. Her first friend will receive this piece and this piece. And her second friend will receive this piece and this piece. So each person is receiving one whole cookie and two pieces out of the three pieces that are total inside those two cookies. Now we could split these into thirds as well, but because we have three friends or three people and three cookies, we're not going to make it that nuanced. So you could do it this way with the diagram. You can go back to the division problem, or you can divide it again horizontally. So those are all different ways that you can solve this problem.